welcome back Green Lantern fans. Today we're going to do a product review of a new product from SciShow Collectibles that I'm particularly excited about. This is a new premium format figure of Sinestro, but unlike the figure that came out in 2014 in the very familiar Sinestro Core outfit, this is a Green Lantern Core Sinestro figure. This was a limited production run. Uh, there's only 350 of these that they made. They kind of did this as an invitation only sale. So it's going to be pretty rare. You're going to see the prices really jacked up on the secondary market. Uh, this one I'm really excited to take a look at. So let's get the box cracked open and we'll take a peek. So I've spared you guys the pain of watching me unbox the statue. But uh, now that we've got it open, let's take a quick peek. Now one of the things that um, people who have the original premium format Sinestro figure will notice, this is almost the same figure, uh, same sculpt, same design, uh, just with him in the Green Lantern outfit. And as you'll notice, the base is more of a Green Lantern than a Yellow Lantern, obviously. And one of the big differences is Sideshow, because it's a limited edition, did not number the bottom. Uh, what they did is they just put the words limited edition on the bottom and they issued a certificate with your number. And uh, I got number 99 out of 350. So th that's something a little bit different. Uh, but there is the, uh, the base that Sinestro's body sits on. And uh, we'll unbag the uh, bottom part of him and uh, we'll get him stood up here. So there's the, uh, the base with the body. And uh, one of the things I really like, other than this being a gorgeous sculpt, uh, I like the fact that they uh, really thought about how this was going to package and ship. They put a magnet in the bottom of the head, so when it drops in, it keeps it in place. And then uh, you have a choice of two different arms. You have the regular Sinestro arm. Why anybody would use that, I don't know. When they have the option of putting on this really cool hand that has a construct on it. And you'll see it has Green Lantern logo. And for those of you who have the, uh, the other premium format figure, the Sinestro one, it had a saw with the Sinestro logo, which you'll, you'll see in a minute when I put it up on the, on the shelf. But uh, really nice sculpt, beautiful job. Um, I mean, it looks very similar to the other one, but obviously it's got the Green Lantern core outfit on it, so they've made some changes. But uh, it looks really great, wonderful sculpt. So let's get it on the shelf and you can compare it to the Sinestro core figure and the Hal Jordan premium format figure so you can kind of see some of the other differences. So here you can see the uh, premium format figure that we just unboxed alongside the original Sinestro core figure. And obviously you can see the, the, the obvious similarities, almost the same figure, different uniform. Um, and you'll see it alongside the Green Lantern version, Hal Jordan Green Lantern uh, premium format figure. And you'll notice obviously that the Hal Jordan figure has electronics built into it. There's a little power switch in the back. It's battery operated, it takes three AAA batteries and it lights up the ring on his hand and lights up the, uh, the base. The limited edition of that figure actually had a construct fist, which looks in pictures really awesome. Unfortunately, I missed out on that one. Uh, originally, Sideshow was going to put electronics in the Sinestro Core figure, but the transparent nature of the, the yellow pigment that they used made it so you could see the electronics in it, and so they pulled the electronics out of this, this version and they didn't add it back in with the green. Uh, something that I really like that Sideshow paid attention to detail in, on are Sinestro is the kind of character that would not allow himself to be on the same level as Hal. So you can see obviously he's floating high enough above that he's taller than Hal, which is exactly how Sinestro would be. He would not allow Hal to be on equal stature. Um, the Hal figure is about 21 inches tall. Sinestro up to his hand is 25 inches to the top of the green construct goes up to about 30 inches and then the original Sinestro Core version with that really awesome saw blade construct goes up to about 34 inches. So uh, you can kind of see them side by side. I'll, uh, I'll close this video off. Hope you like this little bit of a review. I think it's a gorgeous figure. Uh, hopefully you had a chance to get it or you can buy it on the secondary market if you want it. Uh, I, it just makes a nice a nice addition. Um, I, I think I may have to rearrange my shelving a little bit. Might be getting a little cramped up here. But uh, until next time, we'll, we'll see you around. I'm going to close this off with some close-up shots so you can see some of the details, detail work. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.
Thanks so much for watching this Green Lantern video from the blog of OA. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find even more great Green Lantern videos, reviews, podcasts, and more at our main website, www.blogofoa.com. So until next time, keep your power ring charged and make every day your brightest day. <laughs>